Before we start, you will be needing these two pictures. One is a background and another one has have no background. So click new project, then select the first picture which has a background, this one. And after that, extend it to around 3.5 seconds. Then go to PIP for us to overlay the second picture with which has a no background. Then resize it. Then go to adjust. Then click vibrance. Then set it to around 25. And after that, go to brightness. Set it to around 40. Then highlight 25 as well. Just like the vibrance. But still depend on you. You can adjust it. And after that, align it on the original background picture. And then, once you're already aligned it, go to mask, then click mirror. Then slowly resize it by pinching the arrow. First, you will be needing is to Put a keyframe on the outside part of the logo. Then, add another keyframe on the other side. Like this one. So, it will look like this. And after that, you can duplicate this. So, what I will be doing, I will be du duplicating this layer. Then, put it on the... other part so the shine effect will have two animation and after that you can export it and you're good to go you can also check filmora creator hub to learn more and be inspired introducing the filmora creator hub where you can watch and be inspired on the tips and tutorial videos that you can follow from the different creators around the world. You can search for some topics related such as courses from a specific topic and be inspired from the numerous creative tutorials. In addition, there are lists of creators that you can visit and watch their videos and be part of the activities of Filmora and be an inspiration.